What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoon and today I'm going to show you how to draw the female torso. So what you see here is a bunch of basic shapes put together to show you what the shape of the female torso actually looks like. So just like a male torso, the upper part of the torso is actually going to be trapezoid shaped and in this case this is where the breasts are going to lie. And then down here where these uh, points are, those are the hips and compared to a male torso the hips are actually wider on females so that's why this is sort of trapezoid shape. All in all it actually kind of looks like a dress but it really isn't. It's basically what you would see if you look at the body from the shoulders to the hips, except the hips are, you know, like a little bit wider. And what you see here is actually the position that we're actually going to draw it in. So I put these shapes in a position over here, and I drew some arrows over here just in case I misspeak about something. So this arrow right here is actually the center line. This is the line we use to place everything correctly. It may look a little off center, but that's because this position is actually in a three quarter view, so we're actually going to see more of this side than the other. So this arrow right here looks similar to this one, but it's only only because this part of the body is going to be straight but as we draw the torso later on in the video we're going to add a few more curves to it so it won't ultimately be straight and then on this side the midpoint of the torso kind of like meets in the middle and kind of creases so that's why you see these arrows coming in together and the entire thing looks like it got squished on this side so we're going to add more curves on this side than the other so with that being said let's get to it so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw that shape that we just saw on this page and then remember the torso kind of bends on this side and it kind of goes straight on this side so it's okay to draw straight but these are just guidelines and we're going to add curves to it later. And then what I like to do is I like to add sort of the, the guidelines inside the torso to help. And I like to use like the four quadrants. If you know what the coordinate grid is that's what I kind of like to use the four quadrants to help me place everything. And so now that we got that drawn, we're going to start to draw the breasts, which kind of start right up here in this top corner. So I'm just going to come off and make sort of a water balloon shape. It's not going to be ultimately towards this line here, this uh, other center line that we drew. But keep in mind that we might reposition the breasts at some point in the video. But for now, I'm just going to put one breast starting at this top corner. And then the other breast is going to be to the other quadrant. It's also going to be sitting in that adjacent quadrant. Like right around here. And try placing it so if you curve up from this breast. And we're not going to really be drawing the uh, curve up like this. But keep in mind that the curve up from this breast will be sort of the armpit right here. And then coming off of this breast, I'm going to come back in. I'm going to come inward from the bottom of this breast. And then I'm going to hit that center line here. And then when I hit that, I'm going to come back out just a little bit. And then make sort of the hips. And then if you want, you can exemplify that a little bit by coming more inward like this and just erasing basically adjusting and then doing the same thing on this side because this side is already drawn but this side is more straight than the other and then I'm just going to draw sort of a waistline right about here and right here where this center line kind of intersects with this line that we just drew is where the crotch is going to be. So I'm just going to draw something that looks like a crotch. Like so. And then I can really draw a bathing suit on this. And then once you're done, you can draw in anything else and then whatever adjustments you want to make. If you're actually doing a character design, then you can adjust however you want. But I'm just going to leave it like this for now because I don't want to spend time talking about drawing the arms and the neck and the legs and all that stuff when this is really about the torso specifically. So just doing that. And then holding my pencil on my side, I'm just going to apply some shading to it. And yeah, that's how you draw the female torso. If you like this video and you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I can't let it
like Pat Kate.